Hey there everyone, my name is Haley, and welcome back to the Flock SMP, um, where today, as you can see, we are not in our usual base. We're not starting out at my castle. We are actually in the fun and games area, and I'm going to go ahead and put a picture of the server map up on the screen right now. Um, and this is fairly up to date, at least it should be, as to where everyone's bases are. Um, so you can kind of figure out where everyone is on the server and also where the spawn and the fun and games location um, are. So th this kind of hopefully will just help you get your bearings with where things are on the server. But also to know that that is where I am. I am at the fun and games area right now. Um, and I actually, as of recording this, it's October 3rd. And I'm feeling the Halloween spirit. Like I just, I really want to work on something related to Halloween. So I'm over at the Fun and Games area because I'm going to be making some sort of Halloween related maze, um, sort of like in taking inspiration from, you know, a traditional corn maze that you know, we have, at least in America we do. Um, we have corn mazes around the fall time where people with huge fields of corn um, will just mow out parts of it and make a maze and there's like scarecrows and so, like sometimes it doubles as a scavenger hunt sort of and um, I don't know, it's just really fun. So that is, I don't remember how I just had this, but whatever. Um, that is what I am going to be doing. And what I've done is I wanted the ground to be this podzol because I think it kind of looks like a cool spooky Halloween texture, um, especially like when it gets to nighttime. So if anybody was coming through here and doing this maze at night, it would look pretty cool. Um, and then I'll probably mix in some coarse dirt and stuff here and there just to um, change up the texture just a little bit but it really won't matter too much I might not even I might only do that around the edges just because um, there's gonna be walls everywhere on top of this whole big dirt patch which eventually hopefully will spread into Podzol but what I've been doing um, is just kind of marking out where I think I want some of the paths to go um, so that I don't I don't like just build a whole bunch of it and decide no I actually don't like this at all um, so that is what I've been doing for the most part just in here making pathways and changing things up making sure everything looks like what I want it to look like um, I think that's how I had that path before I'm not sure um, but yeah that's what I've been doing and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing I'm just gonna be experimenting with the pathways a little bit um, and while I'm doing that, there's actually been quite a few new additions to the server recently, um, and I've gotten a chance to film with a few of them. Um, so I have some clips that you guys can watch um, of my, I guess, meeting some of these new people. So the first one is introducing a couple of our new members to the server and showing them around spawn a little bit. So while I am working on getting these paths laid out, uh, go ahead, enjoy that clip, and then I will get back to you guys once I have all of this figured out. So, as you guys know, this is the spawn island. You spawned here. Yeah. And um, I actually have That's a couple of gifts there. for you guys. So, oh, okay. here you go. Ooh. Oh, thank and you. Here you go. Ooh, those boy. are our starter kits, courtesy of me and Stickers. We put those together for you guys. Hey, hey what's up, Stinky? Yeah, because I I like Fall. the new people more. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, told you we taken all this. Also, the fact that we all started at the same time means that I didn't have things to give you guys. So now I do. I will share the wealth. Well. But anyway, yeah. coming through this Nether portal will take you to There's our real spawn, which looks a lot better than the spawn island. <laughs> Oh boy. Wait, didn't someone oh, yeah. did you kill Scratch in the in this portal? Uh I didn't kill Scratch. He was like, remember how he pranked you? I don't Whoa. remember oh. that at all. Oh my god, there's an endermite! <laughs> Holy whoa! I just saw I just saw stickers like zoom straight past me. <laughs> how are you doing the glitch where you're crouching while running? Crouching. In. All right, so coming yeah, spawn... through this portal, eventually nice this spot. nether hub will actually look like something, but I just haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> so coming okay. through here, this is our spawn. You swim up oh, the water. Ooh, this is fancy. Whoa. Yeah, that's the message board. We'll, we'll talk about map. that in a moment. This is actually kind of cool. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Oh. Oh. 
I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna put a condom in here because I feel like people are gonna drown. It's just a. It's like five blocks. You can swim up five blocks without Whoa. drowning. Like biggest... This is spawn. I've never actually like taken a look at the aquatic update, so I've never actually seen what's inside the update. I yet know it's so cool. It's my favorite update of the game so far. Oh. But anyway, <laughs> I'm a squid, and these are all my friends. So I'm gonna love this place. Ready? So Ready? this is so, like... this is spawn where you there's a lot of shops no, around no, here. No. You can feel free to browse through them. Yeah, the first area that I want to show you guys is this right here. This is the post office, and it's also a map of the entire oh. spawn area, <laughs> um, and yeah. it has labels for everyone's shops and stuff. So oh, okay. if you're ever Thank confused, you. if you're like I don't know where I am or where anything is, you can address the map. Um, why don't both of you guys take a sign out of this chest, and then you can come down and here jump all the way down. and claim a mailbox. Ooh. Okay. Wait, I think not... all the ones on this Wait, level how are far... taken, so you probably how have to far jump down? down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cabin royalty, what? what I this? called dibs. Look, look, dude, it's a pumpkin. It's spooky season. I'm so excited oh. for Halloween. Happy Halloween the first. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Spooky, scary skeleton. <laughs> and then out of your spine. I can't pick it up. <laughs> Another oh, thing oh, oh, ow, that I want to mention while we're here is there's this little nifty villager guy where you can buy player heads. Um, I will right. update it for all of our new members. You guys aren't on there quite yet, but in the future you can buy Holy those if you would like. Are we taking all of our all of our armor now? I don't know. I can't because my pants have curse of binding, so. Um, <laughs> here, let me get them off for you, Fixie. Here, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. Well, alrighty. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's skedaddle on out of here. Um, Whoa, nice. Power's head getting chopped. This is my head uh, getting chopped. That's freaking amazing. That's what. Some the, how of you the. Do that? We got armor stands. We. I'll. I'll get into it. I'll get into it. Don't you worry. Oh so some of the highlights, I guess, of spawn that might be useful right. for you guys Look specifically. Right here we have I'm a. I'm trying to listen to the owner. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> right here we have a community enchantment station. Um, so you guys can enchant some armor and stuff. I'm gonna put my. There. Oh, I picked up a book on accident. Yeah, because I'm. Um, and then the also while we're in here, this um that the severed head you saw out there. Um, was due to the armor stand customization books. So if you okay. can get okay. these books, and it allows you to customize okay. armor stands, yep. basically. So, um, mm. like, change their That's mine. their pose and <laughs> turn That's them, mine. like, invisible or not invisible or whatever. Yeah. Um, let's see. There's also, so I think, a couple shops around here that sell, like, enchanted books um, and some encha okay. enchanted weapons and armor and stuff. Um, which is good for starting out Texas sometimes. Bar. Uh, yep, we've got, if you have, like, a specific enchant book that you want, you can fill out an order over here. Um, and then all the other shops just kind of right. sell random odds and ends of stuff, so definitely check out the map in the post office, and that'll show you where, what everything where, sells, pretty this? much. Everyone has the same type of armor, so I get lost on who's, oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Now, solid question. Uh -huh. So, is there? I'm guessing there's a currency that you guys use Diamond. on here. Typically, it's Just diamonds, stores. but you can sell things for whatever you want. In fact, I am selling over here. Um, I'm selling fish for uh -huh. a, one stack of fish is three iron ingots because okay. it's cheaper for newer members, especially. And also, I'm really low on iron, so. <laughs> um, but probably, yeah, you can you also pay for like, it with a diamond. If build you want. a bank. Or something that'd be cool. Hey, that would be a was, good idea. Howard, wasn't that your idea? Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe you should have built that instead of a courthouse. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, now you're your courthouse that scratch bombed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you just got oh, wrecked. Oh my goodness. Did you not do um, and then the again, you saw this already, but this is a message board. There's some of these sprinkled around spawn, and the yeah. owner of this is Power. <sighs> Can you? <laughs> Oh, Who's doing that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who's doing that? I don't. I don't. That's I don't power. Know who, who, whoa. He has whoa, hacks. Whoa, it is spinning. He has a macro. But yeah. So if you would like to write something on the board, you need to ask power first. Um. But yeah. I wrote the word Fortnite. Yeah, I, did, I noticed that. I did that. the bird. The bird is <laughs> mine. You, no, I'm kind of surprised no one drew a dab. You know, boom. 
a Westworld. I just dabbed in real life, just don't ask. Okay, well, that's <laughs> great. Can I put my Minecraft character on the board tower? <laughs> it's just a big oh, green yeah, box. Sure. Ooh, can put you draw me, draw me? Draw me, draw me like one of your uh, French squids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my right, goodness. Then. Okay, you wanna, you wanna see my great oh. chops? I want to oh, I wanna okay. see all of it. All later, of every after, every after this after okay, this okay. after after this because I don't need this like 30, 40 minutes long. <laughs> so is there anything else you guys want to know about anything here that you're like, what is that building? Or I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be I'm very mad right now. Why? Because uh, I don't know about you guys, but I actually forgot to press start recording. <laughs> oh no! Well... So. <laughs> I can send you the footage if I, you want. I think that's that, a that's a you yeah. problem because I I didn't oh. have that problem, but oh, good boy. luck. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll help we'll help you out. I'll I'll send you it. I'll send you footage too if you need. But that was close. Um, um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, so is there a certain distance away that we have to build our house, or can we just build it anywhere? Oh, yeah. That is a good question. I would prefer if. It was like a little bit farther away from spawn like if you come over here you might be able to see there's actually a house like really close to spawn that kind of was like yeah like this over here was someone's house yo you cannot take his stuff (laughs) already took off fireworks oh my goodness all right (laughs) this yeah this was someone's house this is a little bit too close to spawn there's actually a map um, in the server info tab on our Discord, um, mm-hmm. that kind of highlights everyone's claimed areas and where the yeah. spawn area is. So uh-huh. as long as you're not building anywhere like inside or right around the highlighted spawn area on that map, um, it should be fine. But definitely, if you have an area that you're interested in, come to me and talk to me about it first and make sure it's available, just to like so you don't accidentally build in someone else's area. So I'll be updating um, the map pretty soon. So, yeah. Okay. So, that's, I guess, <laughs> that that question answered. Any other questions? Uh, so, can I have a pet? Sure. I don't, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry about it. You'll, 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 you'll... Oh, okay. yeah, and then, uh, don't buy from that shop, because that dude doesn't play anymore, that cobble thing. Did you just throw your trident? Yeah, dude. Yo, yo, <laughs> l- hook me up with that. Like, hey, ready, ready, and then I oh, got they're so rare. Like this, and go like. Oh yeah, that's the best. Oh, oh. Holy crap, I, I didn't know you could do that. that and then when it's raining, you can just infinitely toss it, and it's like. <laughs> I can you should totally hook me up with one. Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I need a stack that. of diamonds for mine. For one hundred percent free. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's discount. not that's not gonna happen. I don't think. I'll give you one with one Wait. ability. Solid question. If there's a five finger discount, wouldn't that mean that it's a five block discount in Minecraft? I've never even heard of that term before. I mean, we don't even have hands. You've so. never heard of the five finger fingers, discount? So. Uh uh-uh. uh. And also, that is very free. true. Hey, who wants a bed? Here's a bed. Take it. I want one. Uh, give, give there's me, give beds me, give me, in give your me. spawn kits or your starter oh, kit. Okay. So. Mine's pink, so deal with it. And if you're jealous, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Squid has pink on his shirt. Pink. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay, look at that. Look at that. I am cool. Hey, who wants a really good sword? Come take it. Me. Me. Well, who's me? Nope, who did stickers, it? Stickers. Oh, man. Oh, you're a bully. So, uh, is there, is there anything else it. in particular you uh, oh, he dropped want to it. Take it. Not Someone that I it. can think of. Right here. Um, it's right here. I don't know. Fine. I just... Feel free, if you have a shop idea, go ahead and build a shop wherever you see fit around spawn. Alright, well, thanks for the tour. <laughs> yeah, no problem. If you guys have any questions about anything else, go just let me know. Just follow me. I'll be happy to answer them. And yeah, One last enjoy. question. Yes. One last question. Yes. Uh, how do you feel about squids? I mean... Are you gonna, like, they're, kill they're, they're great. I love squids. It's, I have it's very good. many of your sacks. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's an awkward Look. thing Look. to say. And with Look. that, that's the end of the spawn oh, tour. <laughs> Enjoy your time on the server. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the clip of the little spawn tour, Um, but in the meantime, I have completed 
the layout of where I want the maze to go and I made sure that there's no situations where like you can circle back around so like just for an example if this was connected then like you just like be able to circle around this whole part I made sure that that never happens so there's really like a kind of linear path that just branches off into di different directions um, because I think the way I want to do this is I want to utilize the whole armor stand thing um, and make some scarecrows and sorry about the really loud cow noises if you can hear them um, I'm, I need them for leather for books and quills but in places like for example um, like in this little bit where there's just like a one-off little opening I will put um, an armor stand there and like make it look like a scarecrow or something maybe with like a jack-o-lantern head um, and it'll be holding a book and there will be like a series of them that you have to collect or something along those lines. I'm not sure exactly yet how the actual mechanics of the game part are going to go, but the maze part is now complete as far as the path. Um, so the next step is to start putting in some of the walls. And to do this, I originally thought, you know, I wanted to make it similar to a corn maze, but we don't have corn in Minecraft. The closest thing that we would have it would be like these hay bales. And making the entire thing out of the hay bales first of all wouldn't look that great it'd be really ugly and second of all it takes nine stacks of wheat to make one stack of hay bales and we're gonna need a lot um, to do the entire maze so that just wouldn't have really worked in the long run it would have taken me way too long to get all the wheat but um, luckily because I had to put down all this podzol I ended up growing a bunch of large spruce trees in this area and look at how much spruce logs we have like we have all this we have some in there we have a few in there and I think that's about it but then I also took like probably 10 or 12 stacks over to the shopping area to restock my shop um, so there was a lot of spruce wood so I think we will make um, the walls out of various types of spruce wood and so let me kind of do a demonstration and I'll sprinkle in some like jack-o-lanterns oh let me grab some pumpkins also real quick um, we'll sprinkle in some jack-o-lanterns and um, uh, hay bales and stuff throughout the walls but they won't be like the predominant feature so let me get a few um, jack-o-lanterns here boop, boop, boop. I love the new mechanic it's like carving pumpkins it's really great um, it is annoying though that like if I wanted an entire stack of jack lanterns I have to place all the pumpkins and then shear them, but whatever. Um, let's make these into jack-o'-lanterns. There we go. So this is where the entrance is going to be, um, right in this area right here. So let's say we have um, like some stairs kind of going like that maybe and some planks and it's going to be kind of like misshapen and mismatched sort of um so that like there's kind of holes peeking through the walls here like you can see through that wall clearly but um I think it will end up being really cool because it'll kind of make it I don't know if it'll make it easier because like it, it depending I guess like if I were to look through this wall and see oh there's an armor stand over there I need to try to figure out how to get over there then I could be like all right I need to make sure I go in the right direction to get to that area so it's kind of just a, a little little um, I don't know just sneaky peeky helpful thing um, to have in the maze so I think it'll work out pretty well hopefully um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm also making the walls like three high so that even even if there's a slab there or something you really can't see over the walls too much um, but yeah it'll kind of just look disheveled and I'll probably sprinkle in some logs and stuff in there too to give a little bit more of um, a variety of colors and textures and stuff but I think this system will work out pretty well um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get building figure out the rest of the walls put them in place All right guys, so I have put in all of the walls of the maze and I have put in all of the game mechanics as well So this maze is actually 100% complete and like it looks kind of crazy But I'll show you guys how it works um, first you might notice I have a different skin on and I can't take these off because they're curse of binding but um, I'm a cat for Halloween because I'm unoriginal and cats are cute and I like cats so I'm a cat so we're gonna keep this skin on throughout the duration of October um, to be in the festive Halloween spirit 
Um, but anyway, let me explain how this maze works. So you come in, this is the nether portal that leads into the fun and games area. So you come over here and um, typically this book is in this armor stand's hand, but I think someone broke it and replaced it and now it doesn't have hands anymore. So I need to go get the book to configure it and whatever, but you take the book and this is what it says. Welcome to Pixie's Halloween maze. Please take one of the books located in the chest below. As you go through the maze, you'll find armor stands holding a piece of paper that will be named with a number and a word. Write the number and the word down in your book and move along through the maze. The goal is to find as many armor stands as you can in three minutes. When the time is up, make your way to the entrance of the maze, sign your book, and place it in the hopper. And then I have some rules. So number one, set a timer for three minutes and start it as you enter the maze. Number two, no using elytra, enderpearls, tridents, maps, third person, or anything else to maneuver through the maze. Uh, number three, only the armor stands you find within the three minute time limit count towards your total score. Number four, no breaking the walls of the, of the maze at any point, even if you're already out of time. And number five, please be honest with your results. Um, and then this is an example page of like what you should put in the book. When you're done, make sure you sign it. And finally, by November 1st, so the day after Halloween, whoever has the highest score will receive a prize. And then if multiple people tie, the prize will be split among them. Happy Halloween. So that is the book. That is the premise of the game. For now, I'm just going to set this in here. So if I was actually going to be playing this, I'd come in, I'd take a book. And as I go through the maze, I'm going to you know, start a timer and say go and then start going through the maze trying to find armor stance and whoop, there's one. So I take this, this one has a name and a number and then I'd write it down in here, whatever, and then move along. And then when I'm done, you go sign the book and that's the end of it. So that's how the maze works. And the goal again is to get as many um, papers uh, as you can within the three minute time limit. So um, yeah, we already have had a few people play it. So I'm not going to look at any of the scores or anything until um, after Halloween, until November 1st when I'm going to distribute the prizes. That's the only time I'm going to look in the actual books themselves. But yeah, I think um, this maze turned out really good. I would have built it a little bit more on camera, but it was a lot of just like placing different blocks and like turning and like placing a stair this way and placing one this way and then placing a fence and then like trying to like make the jack-o'-lanterns face the way I wanted and like it was just a lot of tedious block placing and I figured that wasn't very interesting so um yeah this is the maze um check out some of the other members channels to see them play it because I think it's going to be really fun. So anyway, the next thing I want to do in this episode is actually something I've been working on off camera a little bit. Let me pop on into the nether and show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, let's see, we head on over here. You'll immediately notice there's like a bunch of slabs going on out there. I have dug out finally um, some progress on the nether hub and we have this whole big area here um, that eventually will be decorated and look nice. Um, and then I also have these four hallways branching out um, in either in all four directions. And in the hallways, I have signs that say where people should put their nether tunnels. So, for example, my tunnel is going to go in this hallway. The fun and games, which is where we just came from, came from this hallway. Um, but actually what I want to do is I want to finally link up my portal to the nether hub and not have to deal with the treacherous terrain of the nether anymore so that's what we're going to be doing next i'm going to just grab a pickaxe here um go get the coordinates of my nether portal and we're just going to mine our ourselves a tunnel and at long last we have broken through back to our nether portal thank goodness we actually kind of ran into um professor taco's nether tunnel so i think we'll have to kind of dig under that and just have like a little dip in ours but that's no big deal i'm really not planning on doing a whole lot to decorate the nether tunnel because it's just going to be to get back and forth might add some ice just for um ease of transport making it go faster but i'm really not too worried about making this place look very good at the moment uh, maybe later on in the series we will or in the season um, but for now we're just gonna we're just gonna let it be the way it is and we're back to our base where I think I'm actually going to end the episode here. Next episode's project, I think, um, trying to get a villager breeder going. I actually have a little bit of work done on that other island in preparation, but I won't show you that yet. We'll wait till next episode to do that. 
Um, but yeah, that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you next time.